Hello, everybody. It's still us. Don't worry. <laughs> We're still here. And Norman. He made it too in this cut. Nick and Holly shows continues. <laughs> yeah, so we obviously rebranded and um, we're surprise. surprise. We've been working on it for a while and we're really excited to announce all of our new partners, new wines, lots of new things we have going on. But ultimately, our goal is still the same. We're trying to bring you as many lovely, wonderful European wines um, as we can find here. But we also wanted to supplement that um, in a couple of ways that are really exciting. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we know that there is a ton of really awesome natural wine, you know, in the U.S., in South America, Australia, so many places that right now we just can't get to. Um, and we're doing a, we think we're doing a really good job. Finding, <laughs> we hope we're doing a really yeah, good job. Uh, finding wines, you know, uh, a lot here in Catalonia right now, but also kind of all over Europe, right? France, Italy. Um, hopefully we can get like some Slovakia, it's a lot of cool stuff nailed yeah, down, but going to Portugal soon. Exactly. Once I can leave the country, we'll be there. <laughs> exactly. So, so the Europe stuff is going really well, but we wanted to, you know, keep growing and keep bringing our people wines from all over the world. So that's the first part. The other part um, that we've always really cared about, but decided to kind of solidify some partnerships are in the uh, two realms, one of environmental responsibility and the other of uh, women in wine, women in business. Both of those things we're very passionate about and um, we have a few partners that we'll be working with as MISA to um, basically move those forward. Do you want us to talk to the first one? Sure. Um, so one of the partners that we're going to be working with now is called 1% from the Planet. Um, so I actually found out about those guys uh, because I really like beer. I still like beer and I miss really good craft <laughs> you look, beer. You look like a beer guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, so Maine Beer Company works with them quite a bit and promotes them quite a bit. And I've always been kind of interested in being able to leverage this company for that. And basically the way that uh, program works, they're based out of Burlington, Vermont. And what you do is you basically commit to give 1% of your annual revenue this is total sales. So if we make, if we make negative fifty thousand dollars this year, <laughs> but sell a hundred thousand dollars of the wine, uh, we'd be donating one thousand dollars. So it's not profit; it's actually total sales. Yeah, you know, one percent of whatever you pay goes to it. Whether or not exactly. we make money, it doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> Which is good. I mean, good for I think for transparency, but obviously a bit funny because it's true. If we completely lose money. It's okay. Exactly. The environment still benefits. Exactly. So basically we work with them to donate to causes that matter to us. Uh, you know, I think a lot of them are going to be either like local stuff, New England, Oklahoma, whatever. But also, you know, if something like the Australia forest fires comes up, you know, we'll donate that money to wires. Um, we'll also be able to donate some of our time. Yeah. Um, so we're really looking forward to that partnership. Yeah, and uh, kind of nested in that partnership, we're also going to be working with the Carbon Fund, which was another area that has really kind of bugged us since we started working in wine, which is that we work with these producers that produce everything so naturally, make it for the, like, you know, in the environment in a way that is best for their terroir and best for ultimately, like, the earth around them. And then we ultimately ship it. And while it's not quite as bad putting something on, on a container as it is on a plane, it's still obviously having a carbon footprint and we can't fix that since we're importing but what we're going to do is we'll be basically working with the carbon fund to offset all of the carbon footprint of the wine from the winery directly to your home so we'll basically be measuring how far all of those things are they have all these calculators and things that we'll work with and each year we'll just ensure that we offset all of the impact that our company is creating exactly so two really really fun uh, environmental focused kind of partnerships and then on the woman front, uh, we're obviously a woman-founded company. You're very important too, don't worry. <laughs> but we are a woman-founded company and both of us are really passionate, uh, especially in the wine industry and empowering women, empowering women winemakers, people that are distributors, the entire process. And uh, there is several different organizations that we are partnered with and work with. Um, and one of them that's gonna be really exciting is I'll be going to the Women in Wine Conference in Georgia, the country, not the state in May to talk about dry farming um, and those practices and sort of advocate for that uh, with women winemakers there, which would be great because it hits both the ecological aspect and the women in wine aspect. 
Um, and so we're partnering with partnering with them and are really excited to make relationships with wine, women winemakers there. We're also partnering with Wonder Women in Wine um, out of Texas and they have a wonderful platform for women winemakers and women in the industry. So we'll be working with them to denote on our website women-owned wineries, uh, women winemakers, so you can basically see which ones of them are either 50% you know, or mo more owned by women. Uh, and we'll hopefully be making a box with them in the next couple of months as well. We need more. We need more. <laughs> if you're a women winemaker, we want to talk to you. We have a lot lined up right now, and we're excited to be releasing some of them. But women, we're not as represented as we should be, and if you're one of them, we want to talk to you because it's important. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so then lastly, I think, should we just chat about the name a little bit? Yes, I was thinking about that too. Yeah, so the name of the new company is Misa Natural Wine. That's M-Y-S-A, pronounced Misa. Um, and we've been, we've known that we've had to change the name for a long time. And we've batted around a lot of names. Our friends and family have helped us out quite a bit. <laughs> for like a year. With names, some good, some not Less so good. good. Uh, but ultimately we settled on Misa. You know, we wanted something short and punchy and ultimately something that is easy to spell, easy to remember, and is relevant. Yeah, and um, how we actually came to it was we realized this little guy, our little Swedish horse, Dalahest, am I saying mm -hmm. it right? Nick's Swedish in case anyone forgot. So um, the horse ended up in a lot of our wine photos because he's lovely, or her, she's lovely, her name's Darla, technically. and. Um, we just started thinking there's so many like cozy, comfy, lovely words in Swedish that we use a lot um, every day. And we wanted to basically take that word and apply it to our wine company. You know, we didn't want it to be so specific to wine, but rather just be a feeling that we want you to experience when you're having wines. And it's just, you know, like cozy, calm, comforting, together, feeling really, you know, joyous and happy. So. Yeah, and ultimately, like, I think we're always going to have that kind of small business, really personal attitude towards, you know, working with our customers, working yeah. with our winemakers, and I think that that was really fitting. And uh, ultimately, the logo is kind of a fun take on the Dalla Hest, um, and uh, that's, that's where we knitted out. Yeah. So it's still us, <laughs> yeah. just Holly, Nick, and Norman, wherever you want. And we are really excited to be bringing you new wines, both from us and from new distribution partners so that we can have a better representation of the world. We're really excited to be contributing 1% of everything that comes in to environmental aspects, environmental organizations, I guess I should say. And we're really pumped to be partnering with a bunch of different women in wine organizations so that we can keep promoting women in business and, you know, advocate for them. Awesome. Otherwise, it's still great wine. We hope you're loving it. And if you have any causes you really care about in the environmental sphere, please let us know because we have a few that were already lined up, but we're really looking forward to figuring out exactly who we want to be working with and donating our time and money to. So if you have a stake in that, we'd love to hear from you. And if you're a woman winemaker, we'd also love to hear yes. from you. Thanks everyone. Thanks guys. Bye.